you should probably just sort of try and contextualize where coaching has come from because it's actually always been around. It's something that's previously had been included within the relationship between an author and their editor, an author and their agent. And so for the big houses, that would have been part and parcel. And I always sort of cite Diana Athill, who was V.S. Naipaul's editor and agent for a long time. And they had this long relationship and she nurtured him as this kind of young writer into becoming the man he became. But that is very, very rare these days. And like with so many other things to do with the publishing industry, it's been using the word siphoned off, which sounds a bit cruel maybe, but like a lot of editors have been cut loose to go freelance, then that role of coaching has also been let go as well because there's just not the time and the money anymore. 